Yes, my people, what's good? Uh, hope you had a good Christmas, and this is my last latest pickup video for 2022, and it's a banger, I promise you. I've got my first ever Mizuno, the best sneaker release of 2022, and probably, or definitely, the best Sakoni collab of all time. So stick around, let me know what you think. Let's go. Okay, so up first is the Sakoni Shadow 5000 by Extra Butter for the people. I'll get into it in a minute. Um, I bought it on Vinted for about £100 all in, and they were in a bit of a state. As you can see, you know, the suede was pretty tarnished. Uh, the leather around the toe box needed like repainting, the midsole needed repainting. I took them down to a good friend of mine, Vinny, at Sneaker Farm in Manchester, probably the best sneaker cleaner restorer. Took them to him to see what he could do. So let's cut to that quickly. So I've got them back and I'll show you. They are looking excellent. He did a banging job to be fair. The toe box was completely like battered up, scuffed, you know, everything, even the white heel. And he's repainted everything. He's sort of reset the suede and whatnot, painted the midsole, just given them a thoroughly good clean. So if you know about this shoe, I actually did uh, the top 10 Sakoni collabs of all time, and this is my number one. So when I saw them for sale for like 85 pound or whatever, I just had to snap them up. You know, took them to Vinny at Sneaker Farm, and bang, I'm absolutely buzzing. What a bargain, what a shoe. You know, who needs hype? These are a proper, proper banger, proper neck turner. Yeah, they feel really good on feet and like Sakoni 5000s are fast becoming like one of my favorite shoes and these are just an absolute classic. Okay, so like I said, I've got my first ever Mizuno. You know, Mizuno is one of those brands, you know, I always sort of associate them with golf, but if you look, they've got some really nice kicks, like proper retro stuff. Uh, these are the Contender 95 Foot Patrols. So you, as you might have seen in my other videos, Foot Patrol have had their 20th anniversary and done lots of collabs and they finished the year off with this from the post match pack. So the theme is all based around uh, like post match football. So, you know, first off, I mean, can we just appreciate how beautiful that color palette is? You might have seen on my IG stories, I unbox them live. So follow me on Instagram if you, uh, you want to chat, you can DM me on there. But yeah, so I unboxed them and everyone was talking about swapping out the laces because it came with grey laces, swapped them to teal, which, you know, gives it that extra pop. So it's the post-match pack. They came with a jersey that's actually inspired by the Mizuno Florentina uh, kit from the 2000s, I think. So you've got, like, football boot leather, iron gate suede, uh, really beautiful, like, co-branding on the tongue and on the heels. You know, those pops of teals, they just... They're just deadly stealthy. I, I can't wait to get a comment on these because I don't think, I don't see anyone rocking like some banging Mizunos. Yeah, and they released earlier this month, December, and I got them all in for 140 pound, which I think's all right. Give it a couple of years, no one's gonna know what this is, even now. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. My first Mizunos, and there's gonna be plenty more, I assure you. Let me know if you're into Mizunos, like what I should look out for. Okay, and finally, it's an Asics. As you know, I'm the Gel Life. Asics Gel Life threes are my favorite trainers of all time. Um, and if you saw uh, my top sneaker releases for 2022, this was number one. So if you saw that, you know what it is. And obviously, it's the Alley Cats. Sneaker frequent Atmos, you know, two of the best collaborators of all time. It's premium materials. It's got all these beautiful little details, which I'll get into, but that colorway is just beautiful. Always love a tab pull on a trainer. 
you know, this purple gray, like the branding on the split tongue. It's the little details that really make it. So you actually get metal eyelets, that plastic lattice under the stripes is really nice. Like this horsey sort of suede on the side panels, proper premium pigskin on the toe box and on the heel counter. All these lovely little like touches of branding, like the embossed logos on the heels. When I was doing my research for that top 22 sneaker releases, Obviously I found these, I've been seeing them like online for sale, you know, they eventually sort of cleared out on retail sites, but I actually found a pair in a UK nine, which isn't my size, but I think all in I paid about 150 pound. So I thought, sod it, I'll give it, I'll give it a go. I can always send them back. Got them and the beautiful thing about gel light threes is because of the split tongue, it kind of gives you a, a bit of give. So I, I don't need to take out the insole or anything. I can, I can wear these absolutely fine. Like I might just wear them indoors for a bit to break them in. Um, but yeah, just an absolute banger. What a shoe to finish the year off. So yeah, that's it. Just a short and quick video. I wanted to show you my, my latest pickups. Um, yeah, what do you think? Are these the best of the year? Do you like Mizuno? Are these the greatest collab of all time? Um, yeah, I think so, but let me know in the comments. Um, I hope everyone's good. I know, I just want to say, I know this time of year can be quite down and dead for some people. I know I've had it in the past. I'm, I'm not too bad this year. But just want to say, if anyone's feeling down or depressed for any reason, you can always reach out. We can always have a chat about whatever you want, but generally shoes. Uh, so just look after yourself, innit? It's a, it's a rough one for some people. Um, but otherwise, have a banging new year. Let's smash it in 2023, and I'll see you soon. Bruh!